today's video is the uh, formula revision video of digital communication and we are going to see the basic equations for uh, sampling quantization and also pcm then dpcm then delta modulation all these uh, formulas we are going to see and also we will discuss about uh, TDM and FTM that is time division multiplexing and frequency division multiplexing and its comparison. So this is a part 1 and we will be doing a part 2 very soon. So uh, the basic equation or the basic uh, thing which we do in uh, digital communication is actually digitizing the signals right. So uh, for digitizing the signal first we need to sample the signal then we are going to uh, quantize the signal. So the sampling uh, criteria or the sampling theorem uh, states that the sampling frequency is selected in such a way that Fs which is sampling frequency is greater than or equal to twice the maximum frequency. This criteria is a very famous criteria and it is called the uh, Nyquist criteria. Okay, So Fs is greater than or equal to 2 Fm is the criteria. Uh, it is being given in the red box because it is very very important. A lot of questions can come from this area also. And uh, the sampling frequency Fs is equal to 1 by Ts which is T where Ts is the sampling time or sampling period is equal to 2 Fm. Okay, so that is actually the Nyquist criteria and uh, based on this uh, whether it is following this criteria or not, uh, we can say that the system is mm, having oversampling or undersampling. If Fs is greater than 2 Fm then it is called oversampling means the sampling uh, frequency selected is very high then if fs is less than 2 fm means it is called an undersampled system and due to this undersampling a problem is happening which is a very famous problem which is called aliasing so whenever you are uh, being asked in uh, the questions that while selecting which frequency the aliasing problem can occur means when fs that is the sampling frequency is less than 2 f uh, Fs is less than 2 Fm means this aliasing can happen. So what is actually aliasing means the lower frequency in the sampled spectrum will appear as the sorry the higher frequency will appear as a lower frequency. So this type of merging of the signals can happen. So this is called aliasing and it is happening due to uh, not actually following the Nyquist criteria or when sampling rate or sampling frequency is selected less than the maximum signal frequency. Next let us move on to the uh, quantization and while discussing we will discuss the basic equations of pulse code modulation also. PCM is pulse code modulation. So in pulse code modulation what is actually been um, done is actually uh, the digitizing of the analog signals okay. So that is pulse code modulation. In pulse code modulation the step size or the quantization step size delta we can say it as VH minus VL by L where Vh is the maximum voltage, Vl is the minimum voltage or we can write it as V full scale also, okay. The difference between higher and the lower voltages by L is the uh, number of quantization levels. L is the number of quantization levels. Then it can also be written as Vh minus Vl by 2 raised to n where n is the uh, number of quantization bits. Quantization noise power Nq is equal to delta square by 12. Then this delta is again quantization step size and you can uh, write the proportionality of quantization noise power with delta as nq is proportional to delta square which is equal to we can write delta as 2 raised to n right. So sorry delta is actually proportional to 1 by 2 raised to n so you can write this nq which is a quantization noise power is proportional to 1 by 2 raised to 2n. We are replacing from this relation delta by 2 raised to n and we are putting it like 2 raised to 2n. So from this relation we will get a, a relation between quantization noise power and the number of bits. So when the number of bits is increased from n to n plus 1 the quantization noise power will actually reduce to 1 by 4 or nq will be changed as nq by 4. Quantization error. The quantization error QE is equal to sampled value minus quantized value. Okay. And for the case of pulse code modulation, quantization error maximum value is plus or minus delta by 2. That is, it can go up to a negative value or it can be less or more. So, delta by 2. Delta is the quantization step size. Then, the signal to quantization noise ratio it is very, very important. These two equations are very important. Uh, so, 
एस क्यू एन आर इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाई टू इट डू टू रेज टू टू एन ओके सो दैट इज द रिलेशन देन एस क्यू एन आर एन डी बी इज गिवन एज वन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स प्लस सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू एन वेयर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ बिट सो दिस इज द डी बी वैल्यू दिस इज द डी बी इक्वेशन दिस इज द इक्वेशन दर इज द रेशो इक्वेशन द नॉर्मल इक्वेशन देन फॉर द पल्स कोड मोलेशन द बैंड विथ मिनिमम बैंड विथ इज आर बी बाई टू मैक्सिमम बैंड विथ इज आर बी वेयर आर बी इज द बिट रेट ना दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन बिट रेट टाइम पीरियड एंड सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी सो बिट रेट आर बी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई पीरियड बिट पीरियड और बिट टाइम पीरियड इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू एफ एस वेर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ बिट्स एफ एस इज द सैम्पलिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी और कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन बाई टी एस सैम्पलिंग पीरियड ओके सो दिस दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन कंसर्निंग विद द पी सी एम एंड ऑल्सो द बेसिक इक्वेशन ऑफ सैम्पलिंग एंड क्वान्टाइजेशन नेक्स्ट लेट सी द इम्पॉर्टेंट इक्वेश फॉर डी पी सी एम डेल्टा मॉडलेशन एंड ऑल द नेक्स्ट वन इज डिफरेंशियल पल्स कोड मॉडलेशन इन डिफरेंशियल पल्स कोड मॉडलेशन वी आर एक्चुअली एनकोडिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सैम्पल्स रा दैन जस्ट क्वान्टाइजिंग द सैम्पल्स वी एनकोड और वी क्वान्टाइज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सैम्पल्स the bit rate is same as that of pcm but the error is less than pcm as we are encoding the difference between samples next one is delta modulation this is a simple circuit of delta modulation here uh, we delta modulation we quantize the difference between current and the previous samples okay this is the, this is a current sample this is a previous sample so we quantize uh, or we encode the current and the previous samples okay so that is a delta modulator Uh, in which the previous quantized sample is actually uh, we are taking the difference and we are quantizing. Okay, the error is given by e of n is equal to m of n minus m q of n minus one, uh, and the error e of n is equal to m of n minus m q of n minus one, and the quantized value is equal to delta signum function of this error and the output is equal to mq of n which is equal to mq of n minus 1 plus this quantized value okay and the maximum error maximum quantization error can go up to plus or minus delta where delta is the quantization step size okay nextly we are going to discuss about multiplexing techniques multiplexing means uh, actually uh, making several users or several channels channels allowed to use a single channel so uh, this type of techniques are called multiplexing techniques okay so that is combining of various users and allowing them to use a single channel in a particular order so that type of techniques are called multiplexing techniques so the basic te uh, two type of multiplexing are time division multiplexing and frequency division multiplexing in time division multiplexing what is happening is that there are various users a b c d and these users are allowed to use this entire bandwidth in a particular order so consider the order is d b d c b a so likewise d c b a so it will be repeated so in a round robin fashion uh, likewise okay so every user will be using this entire channel or entire bandwidth over this two time duration so that type of multiplexing is called time division multiplexing the time is actually divided for various users and in that particular time period that user will be only using that channel so first d will be using or this much time is given to d then c then b then a likewise it will be repeated the bit rate rb is equal to n into n by ts where n is a number of messages small n is a number of bits ts is the uh, sampling time uh, period and it can also be written as n into n into fs where n is a number of messages n is the uh, number of bits and fs is a sampling frequency okay so this is actually the comparison we'll discuss that later then moving on to the next technique which is the fdm in the fdm actually the entire bandwidth is divided as various sub channels you can see here channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 so these are actually various frequency bands and these bands are actually allocated to these users so this is the receiver side this is the sorry this is the transmitter side this is the receiver side and uh, this channel 1 is entirely used by this user 1 for the entire time duration okay and then channel 2 is a particular frequency band is 
uh, used by the second user and in between these channels so these channels will be actually frequency band like this so in between these channels there will be guard bands okay so these guard bands are an important term when concerning with this frequency division multiplexing now why these guard bands are been allocated uh, is because these channels will be frequencies which are nearby so there can be crosstalk so in order to avoid this crosstalk or this phenomena like crosstalk or interference we allocate a particular portion of frequency as guard band in between these two bands okay so that is the uh, technique which we use in frequency division multiplexing both are multiplexing techniques and for the case of frequency division multiplexing the maximum bandwidth has to be greater than or equal to size of band that is the size of one channel into number of channels plus since there is guard band also allocated guard band uh, size or guard, guard band frequency size into number of channels minus one okay so the number of guard bands will be actually number of channels minus one so that is so this is the maximum bandwidth now let us have a small comparison between tdm and fdm in uh, in case of tdm we need synchronization whereas in case of fdm since there is guard bands we generally don't need synchronization in uh, tdm crosstalk is not present because in a particular time period only one person is access accessing the channel so there are less probabilities for crosstalk whereas in case of uh, fdm crosstalk can happen because the frequencies even though there is guard bands there can be crosstalk okay and also many persons are accessing the channel at the same time then delay is uh, present for uh, tdm because every user has to wait for one user to complete whereas in case of fdm there is no such problem because every user is accessing the channel at same time but using different frequency that is a concept more efficiency is for tdm uh, because uh, there are no guard bands or anything whereas in case of fdm a lot of band which is actually used for uh, allocating of this guard bands for uh, the synchronization purpose so it is actually less efficient in uh, terms of bandwidth consumption a lot of uh, ba bandwidth is actually used for unwanted purpose we can say like that not for communication next cost is less for tdm it is more for fdm so these are a uh, small comparison which we need uh, to answer a lot of theory questions uh, which can come from this tdm fdm session these are two uh, basic multiplexing techniques there is also other type of multiplexing techniques but these are the basic ones so these are some topics which i have included in this video i really hope that uh, you found this video useful we'll be doing the part two very soon because i was receiving a lot of requests to do the digital communication uh, formula revision video because a lot of people was commenting on that so that's why i've uploaded it very soon next part will be uploaded uh, in the next week or very soon okay so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel also. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.